Aloha everybody. This is for people that use the iOS grids that don't have a jailbroken iPad, um, mainly for a golf clash play, but also just for anything in general, actually, it's pretty handy. So um, if you notice while you're playing, sometimes the grids will turn on and off if you mention a number by mistake, or if you notice really bad lag as you're playing and you're, um, you're noticing, you know, strobing effect, this will help clear all that up, hopefully. And, um, and also using the one touch feature, which is this, which you can turn on and off as you're playing. So if you're taking a shot, you would, you know, pull your rings, do your adjustments. You can quickly turn it off if you do notice any lag, but this really should clear everything up so that you don't have any issues. So to turn off the voice commands, you go to settings, you go to accessibility, and then uh, under voice control, I turn mine off. But the most important part is under customize commands, you're gonna have basic navigation, overlays all the way down to accessibility. When you first turn these, when you first get it, it's gonna be, all these will be on. So this takes a while, it's a pain in the butt, but it probably takes about 20 minutes to turn all these off individually. But when you first open up like basic navigation, this will be off. I mean, I'm the, these will all be on. So with the newer iPad, you have to hit two buttons to confirm. With the older, I think it's only one button. So you would click on the first one, you would have to turn this off, and then you would have to confirm. And you would have to do that for all of these. Then you'd have to go to the next one, turn all these off. And some of them are longer, like basic gestures, I think is the longest one. You can see how many you have to turn off. So again, it's a pain in the butt, it takes a while, but once you do it, your iPad should run super smooth. So turn off basic navigation all the way down to accessibility. For the one touch feature, uh, just starting over, you would go to settings, you would go to accessibility, under physical and motor, go to touch. You have to have assistive touch on, right? So you'd have to turn this on. Uh, under customize menu, you can set up your menu any way you want. This is the way I have mine set up, personal preference. You can have, you can put anything in here that you want. So not just for Golf Clash, if you wanted to use this one touch button, um, you can set up your menu any way you want. I prefer single tap. So once you, once you turn on assist, assistive touch for single tap, um, I tap this button one time and my grids come on. Tap it one more time and it goes off. Some people for double tap, so you'd have to do it twice. Some people for the long press, you would just have to hold this down for a few seconds. Um, so just set it up any way you want. As far as the opacity, I think that's how you do it, uh, pronounce it, the idle opacity. I have mine set to 25%, meaning that once you use this button, um, it'll go off in a few seconds, and that's my opacity. You can dial this up, you can have it brighter. I prefer mine low, so I, I go to 25%. Use what works for you. And as far as gameplay, what's really convenient is even if you do all this and you notice still a little bit of lag, you can turn off your on and off your grids as you're playing. Um, so you would pull your rings and then you can quickly turn it off with one touch as you're playing. You don't have to, you know, double tap the, the, uh, the home button or whatever sometimes. You can put this anywhere you want. For me, for gameplay, I prefer it right here. Uh, do what works for you. Again, this works for, for, you know, even just when you're not playing Golf Clash. Sometimes I, I, I remember I had it here for good gameplay, but then when I'd go to like type in chats and stuff like that, that this button would be in the way. So do what works for you. I prefer mine in the middle left, but uh, hopefully this helps. Aloha.